Hey everybody, it's Allie from Padfoot Poodles. So today we are going to be pulling in all of our whelping room supplies so that we can turn our tiny room into a whelping room for velocity. So here we are towards the end of the process and Suze is setting up our camera. It's a night vision camera so that we can see. That's good. We've got everything here. We've got Velocity's bed here. She's testing it out. So what we ended up deciding to do was to extend the box and make it slightly bigger than a four by four. So there was this piece that's right here was right here and then the pig rails fit inside that four by four. And if you're wondering more about that specific process, I have a video on that uh, in the breeding related um, playlist. So you can check that out. But what we decided to do is extend it out, make it a little bit bigger, just so she can be more comfortable when she's actually giving birth, we can get in there with her and she's got space to completely lay flat. Um, we've got our camera set up right over there. And if you want more information on those, I have a video all about that. It has night vision. You can um, completely scan the whole room. And the way that we have it positioned, it lets us see all the way into the corners of that back wall. So our plan so far is to have her whelp the way it's currently set up and then I've got the pig rails um, over here and we'll put those in uh, after all of the puppies are born and we get everything cleaned up and sanitized. If you're wondering what this little cardboard piece is right over here, um, that's because these garden boxes are a mixture of the ones that come from Costco and the ones that come from Amazon. They're all the same brand. The brand is Vita, V-I-T-A. Um, so that's why we have kind of a mixture of parts. But um, there is a plug over here behind this cardboard panel. So that cardboard panel will not stay there indefinitely. Um, it's just temporary until the puppies get a little bit bigger. And then what we'll do is make this whole section bigger. It'll actually come out this way to where Velocity is now. So right now, I am just spending some time with her here in the whelping room. This is specifically her bed. So um, for those of you who don't know, this is a Molly Mutt bed. This is the size huge. If you're ever wondering how big it is, it is definitely huge. You can get them on Chewy.com. And it's a three piece bed set. And what you can do is stuff it with clothes that you don't want anymore, pillows, right? Anything that you want. Um, so I've got, I restuffed this one for Velocity. So it's super, super cushiony because I wanted to make sure that her joints were, you know, well supported, um, you know, with her being pregnant and everything. So yeah. Um, oh, and for the Molly Mutt Bets, Molly Mutt Beds, that was a hot mess. Um, we only use two of the three pieces. So they sell you three pieces. There's an inner mesh lining, then there's a waterproof lining that goes around the outside of that, and then there's the actual cover part, right, which is this green part that you see here. We just use the waterproof and the cover. You don't really need the mesh part 
I'm not 100% sure why they sell the mesh part. I guess if that's, I, I don't know. I guess that's if you, um, maybe if you had a puppy that was having accidents a lot because you do have to wash the inner portion. So this is why I'm in here with her right now because I want her to do all of this exploring and everything while I'm in here to supervise. Also, she has been drinking a lot of water and needing to go to the bathroom much more frequently. So I do have a puppy pad down here in case she needs it. And she does know how to use those from when she was a puppy. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna spend some time in here with her let her explore, sniff everything. Um, eventually, my goal is to get all of this into that closet, but I have some other storage items in that closet, and we live in a very small home. So yeah, we're just making do the best that we can right now. And that gate opens up on both sides, but um, we're using that to help keep everybody else out of this room. So it'll help us keep it sanitized. It'll help us keep the puppies um, exposure to a minimum until they're older. Hi, Velociraptor. She's checking out my folding chair that I have over here. Hey, good girl. Yeah, are you ready to have some babies? Are you cooking some buns? You cooking buns? She's a good girl. So she's been very needy. Um, we're getting close to day 60. So we're definitely getting that way. Um, I tested out all of our heating pads. I currently have three of these. We tested all of those, make sure they're still working. It's been quite a while since we had our last litter. So I tested everything to make sure it's working. Um, my rolly cart, which I'll go over in another video, is over here. It's got all of our supplies on it. So, and I'll go over that in a separate video. But for this one, I just wanted to show the basic setup of how we have her with her whelping box. Right, pretty girl? You wanna shake? Shake? Good girl, yes, a good girl. She always does it so gently. Okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna sit here with her and let her relax here in her whelping room and we'll see you guys in the next video.